Today's video, I have a makeup tutorial that I think is perfect and glamorous, especially for the holiday time. I was wearing this look on Periscope, and lots of you guys requested it, so I was like, why don't we do a tutorial? So, the first thing is, I'm going to go ahead and moisturize the skin. I'm using this Belief True Cream Aqua Bomb. So, I'm just going to go ahead and apply this to my skin. I'm also going to be doing my hair in today's video because I didn't do my hair yet. I think I'm just going to do a bun or a ponytail. Alright, guys, next is I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes. I'm using my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. Today, what am I doing? <laughs> My mom is actually coming into the city, New York City, for her birthday, so that's exciting. Some of you guys wanted to see some more looks with this palette, so I'm going to go ahead and use it in today's video. This is probably one of my favorite palettes. MAC sells these palettes with all these eyeshadows for only $85, guys. That is such a steal. It's unbelievable. When I saw it, I was like... Um, can I get a warm palette? Thank you very much. So the first eyeshadow I'm using is this shadow right here. This is just an off-white shadow. I'm going to go ahead and use this to set the eyes. Then you go ahead and set your eyes and it goes ahead and make your eyeshadow look so much more flawless. And also it's much easier to blend, which means when it's easier to blend, it makes our life easier. So the brush I'm using, if you guys are wondering, from Amazon, I think I'm going to do an affordable brush video for y'all. Mm -hmm. Because I have so many brushes that I love. And they're all really affordable, you know? So, and some of you guys have been requesting that, so I'm going to get on that video. I probably will have it out by next month, maybe, or this month. We shall see. Next is, I'm going to go in with this medium brown shadow right here. I'm going to pop that in the crease area. It's a beautiful medium brown shadow for a woman of color. Spectacular. Yes, ma'am. So I'm going to go ahead and pop that right in that crease of the eyes. Just like that and just blend it out back and forth in that crease area. And I like to keep my eyes open now when I do this look, when I blend, so you can see it. Sometimes I close the eyes, but I feel like you need to see the eyes, so I keep both eyes open. I love how diverse this palette is. My friend who's actually, she's like a fair to medium. She's more on the fair side, and she loves this palette, and she really likes it too, so. Hey, on the lookout. I'm really trying to upload as much as I can for you guys, although I'm really busy with school, YouTube, school, YouTube, hello, <laughs> school, YouTube, church, RA, very busy, but it's okay. Now for the lids of the eyes, I'm going to go into these, this shadow right here, and then this shadow right here. So like a light off-white shadow that's a bit more on the frosty side, and then a light pink shadow or pink shadow that is more on the frosty side. So I'm going to go ahead and use that off-white shadow first. I'm going to pop that on the lids of the eyes. And this shadow is so beautiful and it's very pigmented. It's like that perfect lid shadow to really make your lids pop. Sometimes you guys ask me how I do my makeup on camera. I literally have a mirror usually like right here. So, so right here you can't really see it, but if I put it right here you can see it. So I usually put it down here so you guys cannot really see it. So you can just like really focus on the makeup. But I usually have a mirror. That is so important. Like I cannot be doing my makeup without a mirror. I would be like no mirror makeup challenge dot com. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That wouldn't work out. And that wouldn't be too cute. <laughs> then I'm going to go in with that pink shadow. And then pop it right on top of that white. I'm just taking my brush and just carving out that lid area. I think it's really important to make sure you blend out everything when it comes to an eye makeup look, especially the lids also. People they like forget to like focus on that area also. I'm just going to pop it just a little bit in that inner corner. We might have to go back over that, but it's okay. I feel like also, one more thing guys, I feel like everyone makes like really funny faces when they do their makeup. Like I crack up at my faces. It is a mess, so use your brush just to outline everything. I love a good lid area. Oh, it looks good already. Thank you, Jesus. So there's a like black shadow. It's kind of like an off black shadow in this palette, but I don't think it's the most pigmented black shadow I've ever worked with. And I'm sure Mac has like even more pigmented black. It's like a black brown, 
and I think I want like a black shadow so I'm gonna go ahead and put this palette down for a second but the next shadow I'm gonna go ahead and use Corrupt and this is from Makeup Geek I'm gonna go ahead and apply this at the outer corner of the eye I'm just using a smaller detail brush to apply this at the outer corner of the eye this is probably the most pigmented black shadow ever I've worked with and just go ahead and use any black shadow you have in your collection so you just want to go ahead and place this color at the outer corner of the eye. We're going to blend it out soon, but it's all about placing it down. Push it a bit, like halfway, so it kind of like takes over that outer corner. <laughs> That's the best way to explain it. So Then I'm going to go in with this Real Techniques brush right here. One of my favorite brushes from Real Techniques. I love the company. I love Sam and Nick. Super sweet. Super awesome. I'm going to go ahead and use this blush brush to blend out the outer corner. The first time I met them, I was super excited, very nervous also. And that was probably like two, three years ago. Yeah. And then I met them every year after that for Real Techniques events in New York City. And they're literally one of the sweetest people ever. Like, their, their team is super sweet and they're just super sweet. Like, I had conversations with them, they gave great advice, and they're just... You know, when people are just awesome, that just makes life even more awesome. We shall see. I'm going to try to vlog more for you guys also, so if you're thinking, Rose, you should vlog this. I'm going to try to vlog more. I will try. It's hard to vlog, though. I'm trying to get a vlogging actual camera instead of using my um, filming camera, because that would be too big to carry around. Okay, so next is I'm going to take a napkin. It's a bit dirty. It's from, like, other eyeshadows from today. I'm going to go ahead and use this napkin and just wipe off the brush. I like to go ahead and wipe off my brush because I feel like it just gets rid of excess eyeshadow and anything that's on it and then I go in with that same brush and just go ahead and blend even more and that's probably such an awesome tip for you guys or for anyone who feels like their blending is like oh, it's okay. I like to always like wipe off my eyeshadow brush on a napkin and then go in and blend even more. Next is I'm going back in with this pink from the MAC palette. I'm just going to dab this on the lids of our eyes. And this shadow is beautiful. It's so pigmented. This is the Jouer, I can say it guys, Kitten Liner in Black, and I'm so happy I can say it now, you guys help me out. It's Jouer, okay? It's not Jouer or whatever I was trying to say, it's Jouer, get it together. So I'm going to go ahead and do a simple wing liner. Alright guys, so the eyes are half done. Next is I'm going to go in with my concealer. This is Jordana Complete Coverage 2-in-1 Concealer. I used to like not love beauty blenders, but I love it for my under eye concealer. I do not like them, like if I was going to go ahead and do my whole foundation, I'd rather a brush from Real Techniques, but for under my concealer or my under eye concealer, it's so good or any concealing that I'm doing. I love beauty blenders for that reason. Giorgio Armani, my favorite foundation of all time, this and probably Estee Lauder, um, double wear. So this is a Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, and the color I am in is 11.5. Alright guys, so I'm going to go back in with my foundation brush and just dab in that foundation to the skin. Now, I know a lot of you guys mentioned for me to try the Sasha Buttercup Powder and the Sasha Spray. I think they have a setting spray for the face, I think someone mentioned in one of my comments on the video, on one of my videos. And I'm going to go ahead and try that. I'm going to get it at the end of the month. And then I'm going back in with that same It Cosmetics Brow Power. And just blend it out. It's so important to blend when it comes to brows. I've learned that the hard way. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Then I'm going in with a bit of my black opal powder just to set the top of my brows and also right by the arch area. 
The reason why this powder is my favorite powder is because it looks amazing in pictures, guys. Oh, it looks so good in pictures. It's long lasting. It looks great in person. And then also, it's really inexpensive like 10 bucks and it lasts for a long time. I know where some of you guys do live, black opal is a bit harder to find, which is very frustrating. Moving back to the eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and apply a bit more of the pink shadow from Black. No, this is from MAC, okay, get it together. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this on the lids of my eyes. Alright guys, so let's move on to some mascara. So I'm going to go ahead and apply mascara before I pull my false lashes. And the reason why I apply mascara first is I've just been loving this technique to apply mascara before my actual false lashes. Before, you guys know that I always applied my false lashes first, but mascara technique has been loving. So the false lashes I'm using today are from KISS and these are in 05. I'm just going to pop these on the eyes. This is probably like my sixth time wearing it. It is. And when you can get like five to six words out of a lash, I think that's awesome. Just casually shouting it out there, it's awesome. All right guys, like there's a lot of drama going on on the eyes. I went ahead and kept it very simple on the lashes or the bottom lower lash line of her eyes. I just really applied mascara, but you can go ahead and apply maybe some black under the eyes if you'd like to just add some drama just to let you guys know. But I'm gonna keep it very simple and just apply some mascara. And you know, it's hard to apply mascara on camera. It is hard. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply mascara done with the eyes next is I'm gonna go ahead and apply blush this is a Too Faced blush in love of flush <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to my cheeks using this brush right here I still have not got the name of this brush I can't read it I'm not going to outline my lips or anything, I'm just going to keep it very, very simple. So I'm going to go ahead and use this lipstick from MAC. This is called it's Bird. Beautiful. It's like a mauve color. A mauve brown nude. All those colors. <laughs> I'm then go ahead and take my scrunchie, put my hair up in a bun. Let's do it. <laughs> Word of casually a word of. and just put it in a bun bun and just do like that and yeah this is how I'm gonna do my hair today just keep it up keep it very simple and voila right, guys, <laughs> so this is the final look today hope you guys enjoy it thank you guys so much for watching let me know what you guys think about the talk through aspect of this video and also i did do it more glamorous and it's just a bit more dramatic than i had in my periscope but i think think but i think it's still a beautiful bridal slash wedding slash special occasion makeup i love the pink and black together i think it's beautiful especially for holiday time too Spectacular. You get what I'm saying. All right. I love y'all so much. Don't forget to go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. And also, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe down below. I love you. I will see you in the next video. See you guys soon. Adios. Oh, hey guys. What's up? Welcome back. <laughs> so, today's video is all about dresser dupes for some of your.